Actually, actually, I think Jesus would be for rug pulls. Fuck the government. Fuck taxes. That's what he said. I John thirty six nineteen. Fuck the government. Fuck taxes. You can look it up. It's I I shit you not. That is the fucking verse. John thirty nine nineteen. Fuck just, Texas. Fuck just, Texas. <laughs> fuck the government. You literally just changed the chapter. Yeah. Well, the Bible is ever changing. the The word is alive, baby. Yeah. Welcome to church, everybody. You're gonna be hearing that a lot. Um, and in case you were wondering, yes, I am an ordained minister. Come and trade with me. I got a profit that you need. Come invest with me. Making money off them red and green. Fuck those kids. No. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, no, uh, so welcome. Uh, this is uh, TPC. This is Triple Point Charts. Um, uh, it's This is going to be the first episode, but it's not going to be the normal type of episode. Uh, right now, we're just going to kind of um, in- in- introduce you guys to the idea. Uh, triple Point Charts started like... Well, TPC started like three years ago, and um, it evolved into um, charting. It was, you know, just an idea I had for uh, triple point clothing, and then I got into finance, and then it was triple point charts, and then there's going to be a a further uh, evolution of it down the road that you guys will be a part of and uh, hopefully uh, enjoy what's coming after this. Um, But Triple Point Charts currently is a venue for all things finance. Uh, Doesn't have to be just trading or crypto or, uh, you know, stocks and bonds and boring shit. Uh, We're going to be talking to uh, like real estate agents, uh, brokers, uh, even the basic boring bullshit like life insurance, stuff like that. Things that 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 like normal people should have but normal people don't have um it's not it's not going to be a space where you can't ask a question uh because the the premise is uh kitty and i are going to be having experts from their respective fields uh like a real estate agent and and so on and uh i don't know about kenny because he's a little bit more educated than i am but i am willing to ask the dumbass questions that I would hope for my own um, ego that everyone has, uh, like like how to buy a house, <coughs> excuse me, how to uh, get get a get a good line of credit, how to manage a credit card, any anything that that affects your money day to day that you don't normally think about. This is what it's going to be. So we're going to provide a, uh, a space for people to come and educate us together. Um, also, we do have a Discord that we do uh, live trading in that you can be a part of. Uh, we'll link everything down. I, I think that's how it goes, right? Yeah, we'll yeah. link everything down in the description. He's going to link everything down in the description. Uh, so make sure you check that out. Um, wouldn't hurt to check it out now. Wouldn't hurt to check it out later. Um, the way we move, it's, it's all on your time. So... So just 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 strap in, strap on, and have fun. Yeah, and don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Uh, like everyone says, hit that bell notification. Yeah. Uh, so you know when we drop a video. Um, and if you subscribe, uh, once we hit a thousand subscribers, we're actually going to be doing a thousand dollar crypto giveaway. Oh shit! Yeah. So a thousand dollars. You can get a thousand dollars in any crypto of your choice, um, with a few exceptions. The ones that we don't like. Yeah, there's a couple that we don't like. Um, or you can get it in Squid Squid Game. Yeah, we're gonna actually. You can get it in uh, Triple Point Coin TPC. Uh, it's gonna. Somebody's gonna make that. It's gonna be great. It's Somebody's gonna, gonna, be gonna make great. That coin now, Samuel. Trip, Good job. TPC Triple Point Coin. Somebody <laughs> make that for us. And, you know, 
you scratch our back, we'll rug pull your friends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, how how is that not so like that's we all got to be thinking that shit how does that happen no well i mean how I'm does it thinking, really happen i'm thinking why am i not doing this why am i not making this because you got a good heart oh uh, we Samuel, should you you met jesus at one point in your life haven't yeah, you? and that's all you need. And what did he tell you? One touch from the Holy Ghost. That's all I need. One he dose said, from the Holy he Ghost. Said, he said, don't make that shit coin. He mm. said it to you five years ago before you even knew, or no. ten years ago, or no, whenever. He, no, he didn't. He didn't say that. He didn't. I've read the Red Letter Bible, and I'm telling you, it that son of that. a bitch didn't say that. He it, said, actually, actually, I think Jesus would be for rug pulls. Fuck the government. Fuck taxes. That's what he said. I John thirty six nineteen. Fuck the government. Fuck taxes. You can look it up. It's I I shit you not. That is the fucking verse. John thirty nine nineteen. Fuck just, taxes. Fuck just, taxes. <laughs> fuck the government. You literally just changed the chapter. Yeah. Well, the Bible is ever changing. the The word is alive, baby. Yeah. Welcome to church, everybody. You're gonna be hearing that a lot. Um, and in case you were wondering, yes, I am an ordained minister. So I can say that this is church and I'm going to be exploring the tax benefits from it. Okay. I still, I park in the clergy parking lot when I pull up to the hospital, even if it's not an emergency, even if I'm just there to get snacks in the, in the fucking lunchroom. What are you doing going to the hospital for snacks? <laughs> the, I, I, hey. then it's not like it's free. You're still paying for it. Yeah, but it's a clean environment to get a nice meal at. I mean, I, I guess so. It You've just, never done it? No. I don't like hospitals. Why? They're I've good. too many surgeries to count. That's why. Count them. I just said I had too many surgeries to count. I'm not counting them. More than five? Yeah. More than wow. Five. More than ten. Wow. Yeah. What the hell? Are you sick? Just freak accidents. Wow. You're a freak, dude. Yeah. It's yeah, amazing. I've had a couple, but it wasn't freak accidents. It was like it was like white people surgery. It was sinus surgery. Oh. You know? I don't, so, I don't know. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not white. Yeah. Ooh, this is better. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we had to, we had to switch uh, chairs. Kenny didn't feel comfortable with his wings a flapping, so uh, yeah. he got the he got the armrest. It's okay. It's all right. His chair, his ways. I get it. He yeah. bought the chair. That's what he said. I bought this fucking chair. You're not getting it. I s- grabbed every fucking penny from the road I could find until I had enough to get this chair. Yeah. And now it looks like I'm gonna have to be looking for nickels instead with this rate of inflation nickels well you want to talk about that do you know about inflation do you know what that means because i don't know what it means i mean i have a general idea of what it means talk about it have you have you have you noticed any differences with inflation Uh, oh yeah definitely since i mean gas is the same price here as it was in hawaii before inflation and that's not normal no that's i mean how much was gas here in florida i don't know i don't give a shit about gas you drive a Tesla? Nope. Oh. I just don't give a shit. <laughs> uh, I mean, I think I think gas was like around under yeah. just under three dollars. Yeah, it was like two forty to two eighty yeah, usually, yeah. I believe. And now it's already up to tipping over four dollars. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, as as the amount of money being printed out there, uh, your the value of each dollar goes down. So then that causes prices to go up. Mm. Yeah, so we are going to be giving away a thousand dollars in your choice of crypto. Wow! So, whether that be Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, Polka Dot, whatever you choose, once uh, we decide who the winner is, and how are we going to do that? How are we going to decide? I'm, there's programs out there to figure out. Like you just put everybody's name in it. Yeah. Into the program, and then they'll input it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Or we'll put your name in a hat. Go old school style and do it live on live on uh, one of the videos. Live on Periscope. Or Periscope. or Is that still a thing? I'm sure it's still around. How many people use it? Dang, that the Periscope was huge for a second, wasn't it? I never got into it, so. Yeah, me neither. I heard it was big. Yeah. My dad said it was popular in the. In the what? At the country club. At the country club? I'm <laughs> just kidding. My uh, my dad did not say it was popular, and my dad did not go to the country club. I'd like to see your dad at the country His he, dad it, is like, when you think of an Arnold Schwarzenegger wannabe, mm. that's his dad. Yep. That's him. Yeah. He literally walks around and just says, it's a Tuma all day. Like, Fuck. I didn't want to say that. That just reminded me that Trillionaire Mindset, shouts out to them, obviously, uh, literally said the same shit. I think it was them. It might have been one of my conspiracy peri- uh, conspiracy theory podcasts that I listened to, but they literally quoted Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, really? Literally, and used the exact same quote I just said. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, so not biting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. It's all good. Fuck. Hey, man, it's all good. No. No, I, I promised myself. Well, you failed yourself. <laughs> How's that up. feel? Uh, normal. Normal? <laughs> it just feels like a feels like a Saturday. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be getting into this. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, failure is something you got to embrace and accept. Mm-hmm. You know, you got to keep exploring. That's basically, that's life, bro. Yeah. yeah you think yeah. Lewis and Clark said, you know, <laughs> I'm a failure today because they didn't do whatever they did? They walked across the U.S. and discovered the, what's it called? Manifest destiny. They discovered their destiny. That's exactly right. And on the way to (laughs) death and on the way to destiny, there's some failures. Damn it. I mean, it wasn't, I guess some would argue that was their destiny. It was, that's what it was. They were manifest in destiny. That's what you just said. They also, who was it? Was it Sacagawea or Pocahontas? Both. (laughs) I think, I think Lois was chilling with Sacagawea and Clark was over there <laughs> with Pocahontas. No, one of the two. I forget. I'm pretty sure. Sacagawea, come on. What, is it Sacagawea? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that for sure, but yeah. Yeah. I'm like somebody Google that and tell us in the comments. Yeah. Yeah. Um yeah. It was. And then you can tell us how dumb we are. I'll do a I'll do a five dollar ADA bet right now that it was Sacagawea. I mean, I feel like it was sac- I'm putting my bet on two people. That's a 50-50 chance. What do you I'm say? I'm pretty sure it's not Pocahontas either. <laughs> I think I'm positive it's not Pocahontas. That's the only reason I went into that bet. Yeah, yeah. I actually minored in... Uh, you didn't go to college. I didn't go to college. Yeah. I went to, I went to, I went to the police academy for a couple months. Oh, yeah? How was that? Uh, great. Yeah. I fucking love it. I'm, I su- I totally support everything the police do. Nice. Yeah. That's good to hear. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't. I don't really like them that much. I don't I don't like police. Didn't you refuse to get tased? Yeah, no, I'm not. I, I didn't not at, not at that. I also uh worked as a correctional officer when I was 19 years old. Uh cuz I was poor and needed a, a job and they'll hire anybody. Uh, which is pretty startling to me that literally anybody, if you can piss clean, you can work at a prison. But uh, yeah, no, they, um, I, I got OC sprayed, which is the, you know, the pepper spray. And that wasn't shit. If you pepper spray me, you, you better be ready for a fight. Cause uh, not, not that I can fight, but I'm going to attempt to claw your eyes out. If you pepper spray me, I will pull your hair out. <laughs> By the roots, if you pepper spray me. Nice. Yeah, it didn't do shit. Did you get pepper sprayed? You were in the... uh... Yeah, I never got pepper sprayed, but... uh, You were a cop. I was not a cop. (laughs) (laughs) I ain't no pig. Uh, Whoa. (laughs) Whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Just kidding. Uh, Do we have a VPN on? (laughs) No, just kidding. Uh, Fuck them. I don't give a fuck. But uh, I was in the Navy for eight years, and I saw plenty of people get oc sprayed and it was so funny watching because it reacts so differently 
to every different person. Yeah. Uh, some people are unfazed by it, and I take it you're one of those people. And then other I people, hate it. freaking, you look at them and they're like, "Man, they should go to the hospital." <laughs> but yeah, you didn't have to do it. No, I never had to do it. Wow. Yeah, it was only for the security guys, the guys who wanted to be a like a rent a cop, as I like to call them. Yeah, yeah. I like to call them all rent a cops, just just because you can, because there is freedoms of speech in this fucking country. And I'm going to exercise that shit. Until YouTube takes us down. YouTube ain't going to take me down. <laughs> YouTube. I, YouTube. YouTube. You're going to hack the algorithm? I, You're going to find your... your I got the algorithm tattooed on me. <laughs> I'm, I can't forget it. It's like Bulletproof Monk. It's tattooed all over me. Yeah. You think those tattoos are just cool? Nope. Nope. Scan them. I, no. Like black light. Yeah. Grab a black light. And First it, put it... Never mind. Yeah, don't Maybe. grab a black light, actually, because, <laughs> you know, Room Raiders, that's a good show. Room Raiders was the shit. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so uh, I'd like to dive in a little deeper and kind of explain, uh, or, or maybe have you explain uh, the future for the podcast. Like, yeah. what, what, what can they expect for yeah. a normal I'll, episode or next episode, rather? Yeah. Uh, I really just see... Uh, it's going to be us sitting down with uh, uh, working professionals, whether that be in real estate, finance, um, cryptocurrencies, all aspects of money. Like, for example, I mean, I'm sure we're I'm sure we'll end up having somebody who knows a lot about the NFT space. And yeah, come out I'd and love about that. that. Or uh, I recently bought and sold a home while I was living out in Hawaii. And I learned a lot about that. I bought a fixer upper and I fixed it up. HGTV's a lie. It's not all roses and <laughs> everything they make it out to be. Yeah. But you know what? Uh putting in the hard work I did, it it worked out for me a little bit, so I'm appreciative of that. Hell but yeah. I mean there's so many different avenues to go down when it comes to home buying, um, when it comes to investing in your four oh one K or IRAs and you know, I we're no experts. We're just guys who are stumbling their way through finance yeah. and we see an opportunity to help educate other people as we learn as well. So, I mean, the days we have guests on, we'll talk about those things. And then the days we don't have guests on, we'll probably talk about our thoughts on the news, talk about what we're learning. Like right now, I'm learning up on candlesticks and Japanese learning, candlesticks, baby. Yeah. And learning about, uh, the different uh, patterns to watch for, hell uh, yeah, for signals, and yeah, we're really excited to just uh, go on this. As cheesy as it sounds, I fucking hate it. Yeah, but we're stu excited to go on this journey and like, yeah, you know, the few people who might connect with us, or hopefully, we build a decent sized audience. Not because of us, but because we just want to get the word out there that you know we've we've kind of been looking at everything wrong. So yeah, we need to re evaluate how we save and how we invest our money yeah it, well we're for sure gonna have a thousand people oh yeah yeah we're for sure gonna have a thousand people we're gonna be show. giving away a thousand fucking dollars in crypto yeah. like that's a lot of fucking money you guys you you know this that's enough to lose in like 10 minutes in the crypto space <laughs> make that sound <laughs> like it's not a lot of money <laughs> i mean i'm just saying it's a lot. It's going to hurt when you lose this amount. Yeah. No, it would definitely hurt. Or you could buy two PS5s. If you do that, if you just fucking, if you liquidate this $1,000, I swear it. to you, just do we're going to block you. I'm going to, if you do that, everybody is going to haze you on this channel. Send me your gamer tag. I will fucking destroy you online if you, if you do that. We'll play Fortnite. Hey, Fortnite's got that no build. They've got yeah. a new a new That's thing. That's the only reason why I said it. Oh, dude, because I can't build. I can't, I can't build for crap. Yeah, but me neither. The 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 new one. Hey, uh, me and Deja, we've been we've been busting it on there. Oh yeah. Yeah, I haven't got a dub yet. I'm not gonna lie, I uh, I come in second often though. Nice. But that could all change tonight. I mean, you were always big on COD when we were younger. Let's so. say that clearly. I mean, I mean that too, but. <laughs> You're always big on Call Call of Duty. Thank you. Yeah. I don't like that. I've never liked that abbreviation. One, I don't like codfish at all. 
It's just not. What were you thinking? No. What were you thinking, Kenny? <laughs> I was just talking about the fish. It's not a good one. I just I didn't think you would actually go in and explain yourself. Oh, yeah. oh. see, that's why you always have an exit strategy when you go into a. No, I'm just kidding. I'm being stupid. Yeah. Um, I mean that's true too when it comes to trading stocks. Yeah, before that's, you buy, you better make sure you have that exit strategy. Yeah, that's th- that's when emotions get involved. Oh man, and emotions are gonna kill you. They do. They do. I yeah. mean, look at us. What about us? I don't know. Yeah. We're just, you're an emotional guy. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I, I'm I, super emotional. Yeah, I've definitely, I think it's because since having kid, yeah, having a kid maybe, I don't know. Yeah. I only have one. He has like nine or something. Yeah, he's I'm looking one. for more. If you got him out there, just fucking sell him to me or something. I don't know. Yeah. No, I probably shouldn't. So probably what, shouldn't do that. What, what actually got you kind of like interested in finance and things like that? Uh, um, I, I kind of got interested right around the time, uh, Robin hood, the app was released. That's, that's really what, uh, got me interested in the first place. Uh, wasn't what kept me coming back. Um, but it, it's what started the, the journey as you would say, Oh, wise one. Uh, <laughs> now I'm just fucking with you. Uh, yeah, no, Robin hood came out. And there was this dude on like my Facebook that was, uh, he was, a I don't know if he was paid by Robin hood, but he went hard for him, boy. He, he was talking about how this is, uh, you know, now it's acceptable to everyone, accessible to everyone, sh- shit like that. So, uh, I made an account. I think I bought, uh, Ford. I think that's like the only thing I ever bought cause it was cheap. I was like, Oh cool. I'll buy Ford. And, uh, I sold it a couple weeks later and was like, fuck this. I'm not really into this. Um, then the old unspeakable coin came out, uh, Dogecoin. Uh, I'm not a fan of Dogecoin. Just going to, I know you guys don't like that. I know you guys, you know, hodlers are going to be mad, but I just got to say it. I don't like Dogecoin. I don't really see the utility there for it. Uh, if that's your thing. Um, prove me wrong comment below tell me how I'm a fucking dumbass and make fun of me all that kind of stuff Uh, but come with your fucking facts Uh, because fuck Dogecoin let's get that trending let's get that trending on fucking social media for once fuck Dogecoin can we do that hey shit it's not uh, up to me it's up to them hey Doge Army can we start that let's start trending fuck Dogecoin and plug in a good article with it because people are going to really want to click on that one. People like me are going to want to click on it. And then you bait them in with the headline, you know, get, let's do it. Fuck Dogecoin. Hashtag fuck Dogecoin. And then put a good article along with it. Cause I will click on that link. I'll click on fuck Doge, fuck Dogecoin. And then you can turn me into a believer with your tokenomics explanation. There you go. You're welcome. You're welcome, Doge Army. I just saved your coin. We are going to get ripped to shreds. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying I don't have any. I'm just saying, oh, fuck those coin. Uh, but no. Okay. So um, that same dude was on my Facebook uh, and he starts going crazy again, posting about uh, Dogecoin like every day. It was, and it's when they first got listed. Um, so. I think it's like 2018 is when Dogecoin got listed on Robinhood. And he sold me, totally sold me. Uh, I think I dropped uh, the same amount we're doing a giveaway, 1000 bucks. I think I dropped 1000 bucks on Dogecoin in 2018. And uh, Where was it trading at? I, I've, I've forgotten purposely. I don't, I don't even want to access those recesses okay. of my memory was it at the top no no it, okay. it no 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 oh no oh it was before the bull run yeah it was before dude it wasn't a penny it it, it was oh. it was so you're so you're mad at the doge community for leaving me behind for leaving you behind you left them 
fuck them. You left them. I held I held for like I don't know, eight months or something. They tried to tell and you, it, man. And it doubled. I, I it doubled in price. Okay. I, I just went to go arm rest myself down. Uh <laughs> it doubled in price and I sold, which I was cool with that. Until you guys left me behind. <laughs> you left them. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. And that's a hard pill to swallow. It is. But hey, I, I caught I caught I caught the Shiba coin. I caught that baby. Yeah. Yeah. I got that and I I'm still a holder. I'm holding bags up, baby. Uh so if you're out there Now the Doge community is gonna hate you even more. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you guys. Hashtag fuck Doge. I don't give a fuck. So Kenneth. Yeah. Where did the whole trading journey start for you? I was kind of just uh I downloaded Robinhood. I don't know why. I think I just downloaded it one day and start I put like 300 bucks in there shit i know high that's roller. that's not even close to what we're going to be giving away yeah <laughs> we're really trying to sell that hey i'm not selling nothing i'm fucking giving a thousand dollars away to when we hit a thousand subscribers if you're not in there it's your fucking fault fuck those sorry go ahead <laughs> hashtag fuck those um and uh I traded a few times. I ended up losing like a hundred bucks or something. Yeah. And then I kind of just pulled my money out and was just like, oh, whatever. And then I started to, um, I think I just, I don't know what it was. Uh, I just, I started focusing more on my 401k and, mm. uh, making sure that that was all set up because through the military now you don't get a pension. You get a 401k now. I'm not sure if you knew that. If you I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah well, yeah. I, I might have known that. Yeah, I know. It I mean, just I, changed a few years ago. I didn't know that then. Yeah, yeah. So, um, well, I, I was grandfathered into the pension, but I knew I was going to get out, so I was like, I'll switch over to the blended retirement. But nice. anyways, um, I so then later on in life, I started as I was getting out of the military, I started to try and figure out what I was going to do, uh, money wise, and how I should you know save money and. I started looking at cryptos and I looked at Ethereum's chart from 2021 and I just saw that it was like a 400% return for the year. Holy shit. And I freaking dropped a good amount of change in November mm. at the top because <laughs> I didn't know any better. Yeah. Because I didn't know about the term buy the dip. Yeah. That's how new I am to this. It's okay. You know? But I ho I'm holding, and you know we're 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 making our way back up there, and it's exciting. And since then, I've kind of just started doing a lot more research, reading, and constantly looking at the charts. Um, and I've I'm starting to I'm I'm really on this starting this podcast. The only way I'm going to learn is if I I'm forced to forced to learn, and yeah. I feel like this is an opportunity for me to learn about finances and how how money moves that's what i tell my my friends and family when they talk to me on what i've been doing I said i'm just focused on learning how money moves hell yeah because if you can learn how money moves uh i really believe you can be kind of unstoppable yeah unstoppable that's it it's a great song too um i don't i think it's a song i'm sure it is yeah it's gotta be yeah if not uh our buddy dave was gonna make it a song he he's actually the guy that did the uh did the intro for us um and and we love it we love him i actually paid him in solana uh for that intro so don't say we ain't out here hustling in this ecosystem to make this thing robust yeah robust robust robust, robust. yeah what really uh I, I i kept walking away from trading just because it felt like uh like like there's no way i can actually get this um which I think a lot of people feel that way and I think I'm going to feel that way again. It, it comes up for me every couple months where I, I feel like I am, you know, I'm about to punch Buffett in the fucking face, you know, with my skills. And then other days I feel like I just bought the top of Ethereum, you know? Um, sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, but uh, I, I was uh, at a local home improvement uh, not local. It's, it's, uh, Lowe's Lowe's. Yeah. It was Lowe's. Yeah. I, uh, I was working out at the Lowe's down there 
and uh, just happened to come across the gentleman that uh, was making a large purchase. You know, I was a manager, so I was asking him, hey, uh, you know, would you like to apply for a credit card? Is this for your business or for your home? Uh, doing all the nice, good corporate things that I was supposed to do. And uh, uh, with my probing questions, uh, I realized uh, of his occupation. Um, he was a, a day trader. So him and I became friends because uh, I wanted that money, honey. You know, I, I only used him for money. Yeah, that's what I do. Nice. I fucking, I squeezed him for everything he was worth. No, not really. I'm just kidding. Uh, no, he actually, he, that's, that's who I call my guru. Uh, I'm, uh, he's all about privacy. So shouts out to you, bro. Uh, you know who you are, dog. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but no, nah, for real, he is weird about privacy. So I'm not going to fucking tell you his name and you're not going to look him up and you're not going to tell him shit. Uh, but he was great. He, uh, invited me into his home. I got to see his office. Uh, he was trading, uh, oil at the time. So he, uh, you know, educated me on a lot of, uh, that stuff, uh, taught me some basic technical analysis that, uh, inspired me to really go deeper into it. Um, because you can learn, you can learn your trend lines and your support lines and your, uh, retracement levels and all that. But if you're not actually inspired by it it's very hard to lose money and be happy uh for me personally you mean make money and be happy? no lose money and be happy when i lose i'm still happy man oh, like okay. i can win or lose and god still's got me you know church is still in session baby yeah, yeah yeah i mean luckily there is more winners than losers but at the end of the day, like I, I took a, I, I almost, I got, I got lucky. I almost took a bad play on uh, Apple Friday. Uh, I was going to do a quick uh, option scalp. Uh, we'll talk about options later on. But um, uh, luckily through technical analysis, I was able to cancel that trade and get the fuck out of there and not lose any money. Um, but yeah, no, I, I met him, got really inspired by it and uh, just dove into it. And that's been about three years now. And then uh, the start of COVID, um, I left my job and became a full-time badass. Like, just in every sense of the word. I got more <laughs> tattoos. I, I got a truck. I drive a truck now. I used to drive an Explorer. But I started trading, and I got a truck, and I got more tattoos. So on paper... I'm that guy. You're that guy. I'm that fucking guy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it, it's, it's a lot of fun, man. My uh, truck is pretty big. Your truck, your truck, my truck is, yeah, it's a, yeah. It's a fucking four wheel drive. I live in Florida. Yeah. I can hunt. It's, I can it's fish big, guys. It's big. It's big. It's all jacked up. It's, it's in, huge. Yeah, It's big. It's the biggest thing I got. That's all he's got. That's all. That's all I got. I don't even have a house. I just stay in the truck. Yeah. Uh, the kids sleep in the bed. It's extended bed though. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's fine. Nice. Um, but yeah, um, I uh, also, dude, I gotta give shouts out to uh, Asian Picasso on Twitter. I'm not gonna lie. If you guys, if you guys want somebody that is an, is a chartist, go to Asian Picasso. He's the homie. Uh, I saw his charts and they looked so different. This was like six months ago. Uh, they looked so different than any charts I've ever seen. And it really, it really got me, got me hard on it. I got hard on, I'm hard on finance. Nice. I'm hard on trading. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hope, hoping to get there one day. To get hard? So, yeah. On, on finance. On, on trading. You got to be hard on finance, dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I'm excited about it. I'm excited about everything. Uh, let me, let me, let me talk on something. Uh, a few of the guests that we are going to have, um, the, the, the one that I am most excited about is I am going to have, we are going to have an HR manager come on the podcast and explain to everybody, uh, like the bullshit that they go through, um, you know, and, and the things to look out for when interviewing and when applying for a job in general. Uh, so, 
uh, be on the lookout for that. Also, I want to have a therapist on here. Uh, you know, fuck it. Get some, I, I'm trying to get free therapy out of this. This is really my goal. I just want, I want to tell a therapist, Hey, I want you, I want you to come on the podcast and I want you to, you know, promote your shit, but really I'm just looking for f- free therapy. By the end of it, we're going to have Samuel crying in the corner. Oh yeah. There's a lot. There's, there's some deep, deep stuff there. I mean, Kitty knows he's, he's been with me for, yeah. for years. How, how long, how long have we known each other? God, don't 15. Don't, don't give away my age. Uh, no. How old are you now? Uh, 29. So nine plus four, 13 years, 13 yeah. way off from 15. Yeah. Way off. Not really, but not really. Yeah. 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 Me and Kenny met, uh, through our, our passion of music is yep. how we originally met. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. We were in a, we were in a Christian rock band, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fun. It was the shit. We yeah. were the shit. Uh, you can some look would, us up. Some Fuck would, it. Some would say that. Yeah. No, I thought Jesus would have said that. Jesus, Probably. Jesus was... That was that was our slogan. Jesus says we're the shit. Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, but we... Uh, yeah, we got we were we were lucky, man. We we jumped out the gate uh, in a band and we hit the ground fucking running, uh, sprinting, really. sprinting. Yeah. yeah, we we were only a band for what like a year Less, and a half. Yeah, probably yeah. just Less, over a year. Yeah, just over a year to a year and a half. And I mean, we were. Uh, well, we don't have to go too into yeah depth on that. I don't want to. I don't want to flex on y'all. Or no, nothing. no, we're not flexing by any means. Because <laughs> I mean, it was such a short, short lived. Yeah short-lived trip that you know yeah but it was it was flex, really, stupid fun um yeah it was, it was we got to travel around quite a bit we got to uh, meet a bunch of people that we normally wouldn't have met yeah um we got to deal with bullshit ass management uh yeah <laughs> yeah hey oh i'm gonna stick you cuz any chance i get i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna stick your bald-headed ass uh, <laughs> i can't I can't stand him, but he's a good guy. He's great. God bless him. Yeah. Uh, his name is. <laughs> no, we're not saying any names. <laughs> no, nah, fuck him. He don't deserve a name. I wonder if he could figure out. I mean, somebody could figure out who that is just by. Yeah. But I'll anyways. fucking tell you if you call, if you DM me, I'll fucking tell you, and I'll give you his. I'll give you his online social media profiles. Sound good? <laughs> no. 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 We're not doing that. He's a public it's, figure. He's got to have him. He's, he's on LinkedIn. Not a Listen, look figure. up on LinkedIn. What? He's not a public figure. There's no way. No. If he's a public figure, I would know he's a public figure. Well, I guess I don't know what the fuck public figure means. I meant like he's a he's a he's a businessman. He's yeah. a shyster in his area. He's a he's a shaker, yeah. a mover. We're cutting all this out. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? We don't need to cut this out. Oh this is great. Gosh. I don't like him. I know you don't like him. Uh, but yeah, it, we had a lot of fun. We got to meet a bunch of people. We got to uh, experience shit that we never would have. Um, I was like 15, 16 yeah. in, the, uh, in, the, in the dirty dive bars every night, getting my hands X'd up because I couldn't drink. Um, I mean, I don't think any of us could. Yeah, none of us. I mean. You know, you know what, Danny? I, I, remember, I remember that being a rift in the band. Was it Danny or was it you? Well, Somebody was upset that. Uh, we went to a bar one night and somebody had a beer. I doubt it's me. Do I ever give a shit about anything? Well, no, <laughs> but like when it comes to your personal preference, I don't give a shit what you do. No, no. I mean, was it you that drank the beer? Did you drink the beer in the Christian oh, band? Yeah. Yeah. I think Adam it was me. Yeah. I yeah. think it probably was. We me. all know who was mad. We don't got to say it. Yeah. I'll say it. You better watch you redheaded ass. I'll say it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a dead giveaway who it is. So we're not putting that in. Uh, we'll, we'll have him on the podcast. <laughs> hey man, come on down to the podcast. Why don't you take some pictures for us? Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So we were in a band together and you know, the Had band broke up sh- shortly, you know, a year and a half later. And for whatever reason, um, me and him, me and Samuel over here. Yeah. This guy. Me. To my left. Um, he, uh, we always kept in contact. Uh, yeah. We always talked. Uh, I think part of that reason was he w- he got married pretty 
like a few years after the band broke up and then he ended up having kids i got married like probably two years after he got married so our our lives kind of aligned so i think that's what kind of kept us you know talking yeah but then uh but then uh this past year whenever i came home for the holidays uh i said oh i'll see you i'll see you later bud next time i see you whatever whatever telling him i'm never gonna move back to florida yeah literally and then literally by the weekend i call him saying hey i'm moving back to florida yeah he's like i know yeah (laughs) yeah i felt it i felt it in my loins (laughs) i hope you didn't (laughs) well i'm hard remember i'm hard for trading baby yeah that had nothing to do with trading but it did though i mean it did but that's all we talked about yeah wow yeah how's it feel to be back here no 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 to make me hard i mean i'm not well (laughs) whatever dude um but yeah and then yeah we've just i don't know we we've always had uh he says whatever the fuck he wants and i don't give a shit what he says type relationship yeah Yeah. you know as long as he's not like waking up next to me with the hard dick apparently yeah yeah i'm never gonna say any like racist shit yeah. Or homophobic shit. Mm-hmm. So that's good. That's I don't I don't do that. Yeah, I don't think we'll get I hope we won't get canceled. No no no. We shouldn't because I'm 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 not a racer and I'm not a I'm not a homophobic. Yeah. Um I believe that the love of Jesus is for everybody. I mean I agree with that. Yeah. But I also agree the love of Allah. <laughs> And the love of Buddha. Yeah. It's well, all, I'm a Christian minister. It's all the same, just a different, uh, just a different outfit. Nah. It's all the same, just a different outfit. I'm just kidding. I mean, I am literally a, uh, I, I am an ordained minister. However, I am a, uh, I'm a fucking atheist. You know, I'm a or agnostic, a- agnostic or whatever. I don't give a shit to be yeah. honest. Like, I really just don't give a shit. Yeah. But it's great. I love it. And God Simulation. Bless you. It yeah no probably it's probably the simulation shit simulation yeah um but I don't give a shit even yeah. if it's a simulation I don't give a shit yeah you just got to live the life that you live now help people learn and grow and look back on your life and say hey I did the shit I wanted to do yeah and that's that's what Jesus did this is a part of it I don't I don't know if he did <laughs> <laughs> you know I made that fucking table. So goddamn good. Oh, he didn't say that. Sorry. He didn't say that. Daddy would have been pissed. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, that's that's the point of it. Yeah, Just, for sure. You know. But uh I'm trying to think what else what else we have to add on to this. What do you think? Well, we've talked about um what triple point charts is. It's a venue for financial literacy. Um everything that from buying a Big Mac to buying a house, we're gonna teach you about. Um we're doing, uh, I don't know if we've told you this yet, but we're doing a thousand dollar giveaway for a thousand subscribers as soon as, you know, so this is, this is, this is for you guys. This ain't for us. You know? I mean, really, it really, I honestly, the way I look at it is like today it's a thousand dollars tomorrow. It might it's be a million. It might be more. Uh, this is a long term thing. This is, you know, given, given we're doing the thousand dollar crypto giveaway at a thousand subscribers. And, uh, this is for you guys. It's not, uh, the thousand subscribers isn't going to bring us in, you know, money. Yeah. Yeah. We're just, we're really excited to get people on board. Uh, and we're not splitting that shit up either. We're not giving two fifty and two fifty. It's a thousand bucks to one person. Yeah. Uh, that's enough to, it's enough to pay your, your rent or whatever, if you have to liquidate or that's enough to hold and, you know, make, make some gains bag up, baby. Exactly. And like in the future, like as this channel grows and becomes more, we we want to give away more. We want to yeah. help support our community because without you guys, um, it we we can't take it as far as we want to take it. Yeah. So, and we want to we want to answer the questions that you guys have. So make sure to just comment whatever questions you have, um, and we'll we'll try our best to get the people people on that you want. Yeah. And yeah, just uh, just you know comment like and subscribe um and with that said we're excited about it and um you know just 
like I said, if it's not us, go, if you just go educate yourself on yeah. this, because there is a great, like I've kind of, I don't want to sound cheesy. I've seen the light, you know, and you can learn. Hell yeah. They just make it, they just want to make you feel like you can't. Yeah. And so that's the biggest thing. If it means for every single word you hear, like for the longest time, I had no idea what transitory meant. I just did a quick Google search, figured out all it means is not permanent. Mm. They could have easily used the word temporary. On what? Transitory what? I'm on inflation. When they were talking ah. about inflation. They could literally, they could have easily used the word temporary, but they chose to use the word transitory because th they don't want you to know, yeah. you know? And so, yeah, this you have this, to, I, it sounds kind of conspiracy theorist to say that, but it's, it, it's not, it's just the truth. Why, why use one word when you can use a, a word that everyone knows? For you know? sure. So yep. just, uh, you know, educate yourself and I hope we're, we're the resource that you use to educate yourself because we're doing exactly what you're doing. You know, we're just going to learn learn from the resource directly when we get these uh real estate agents on yeah. or finance guys on or i think we even were in talks with some retired wall street guys yeah so wall i mean we we have a lot of uh a lot of good resources that we're excited about so yeah um outside of just cracking jokes and being funny we really do uh want to learn and that's yeah. the whole point of this channel yeah yeah it's uh the, the thing that separates us from a lot of other, uh, like, you know, loser finance guys that, that want to be, uh, what's his name? Tony Robbins or some shit. Uh, we're not the gurus here. That's never our motive to be the guys that you look for to give you the answers. This is a community that everybody can come together and learn this shit together because it's, you can, you can figure it out on your own. You can Google it and figure it out on your own. Uh, but, when you're linked up with a community, it just goes so much smoother. Yeah. Um, and, and, and there's going to be enough people where if somebody's talking some stupid shit, call them out, so, you know, let us know in the comments, let us know in the discord that th these people are shit. This real estate agent probably hasn't sold a house in his fucking life. Um, you know, let us know if you know somebody better, uh, we'll fucking fly them out. I shit you not. We're giving away a thousand dollars in crypto. Why the fuck won't we? I'll buy it. I'll buy a uh, plane and uh, I'll buy a whole fucking plane. I'll buy a whole fucking plane and fly them here. Nice. Thanks to Doge. <laughs> fuck Doge. No. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys. We, Have a good one. Uh, yeah, we appreciate it. Peace.